And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube over there for some Rakdos Sacrifice in Best of One. Finishing out our Best of One Day Monday stream today. Uh, we're going to hopefully get a winning record here with this Sacrifice deck that I think is pretty strong. That I think has a lot of really good, uh, like just a, a lot of very good cards and just a lot of really good synergy with the different cards as well. Um, we have, of course, the the combo with Cauldron Familiar, which is Oven. We all know how powerful that combo is. We got that combo in here. And besides that, of course, we're, we're really uh, built around Priest of Forgotten Gods. Uh, with Priest, we want, to, we want to be able to untap with Priest and have uh, multiple creatures in play to sacrifice. Easiest way to do that is with three mana Chandra. That's a really good card with Priest of Forgotten Gods. But besides that, we have some other cheap creatures. Of course, the Cauldron Familiar, all of these one drops. Lazotep Reaver works perfectly well with Priest, giving you two bodies to be able to sacrifice as well. Mayhem Devil is another... Um, this is a, a big payoff for sacrificing. So this is whenever either player sacrifices a permanent, any permanent. So this counts uh, the food tokens that we sacrifice with Witch's Oven, count towards Mayhem Devil. Whenever our opponent sacrifices off Priest of Forgotten Gods, triggers Mayhem Devil. Uh, whenever we activate Fabled Passage trigger mayhem devil with the sacrifice there um chandra zero of course sacrifices creatures so that triggers mayhem devil so mayhem devil can get a lot of triggered uh triggers in this deck here and then our, our top end card that i i'm a big fan of is wrinkle the master of pranks especially how we have a lot of these cheap creatures where if we hit our opponent uh, we can say both players sacrifice a creature you know that triggers the mayhem devil on each side of course and we should have better creatures to sacrifice than what our opponent does. Um, and of course, with all the sacrifice theme, Dreadhorde Butcher also is a really good card to sacrifice because it's ability to deal extra damage. So hopefully we can get ahead, finish some opponents off with a bunch of triggers. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to play seven games in ranked tier. See, our other best of one decks haven't been doing so well today, but that's okay. We've been having some fun and been learning and playing magic so it's still a good day it's cat time cat time so yeah hopefully we get to cauldron's familiar combo okay good looking hands We'll throw out this Bag of Bones turn one, and then uh, probably going with Priest for turn two. We'll kind of see what our opponent does, though. It's usually good to play Priest on turn two to try to untap with it, but Dread, but it's you know, we have some tension here because Dreadhorde Butcher is also a card that you really want to play on turn two to start getting counters on it. All right, they're a creature deck. Let's get this priest in play. Fail Passage looks a little awkward here of how we're going to have to have a, a tapped land here for turn three. So I can either play Gutter Bones or put Gutter Bones back into my hand. I'm going to use the, the mana better, put this back into my hand. Definitely shuffling. We do not need to draw more lands.
It's not a bad card. Not a bad card. So if I if I sack Fiend and Dreadhorde Butcher, we kill both of their their creatures, do uh, four damage to them. Yeah, that's just the play. I certainly considered um, you know picking up gutter bones first like attacking having them block do damage to them and then picking up gutter bones and sack resacking gutter bones but I think this is a better play Okay. Now, Butcher wasn't really a free attack because they, they block Butcher and then I have to sacrifice something else to trigger the Priest. I liked... I liked doing that first, so then I could got to just attack with Judith. You know, like if I attack with Butcher, I'm not attacking with Judith. And then I also have to I not not only don't get to attack with Judith, but then I also have to sacrifice a gutter bones, which means I don't get to pick up all the gutter bones. I sacrifice gutter bones and footlight fiend. The only way to, to be able to do that is I would have had to attack with the Butcher first. Because to be able to trigger the Gutter Bones going back to my hand. Yeah, there's... Oh, sorry. Uh, with the 4-4 the four, four Flyer does one damage every turn. Oh, Spawn of Mayhem. I, yeah, Spawn of Mayhem's not a bad card, but I like all the stuff that we have at 3 and 4 mana more than Spawn of Mayhem. We already have a lot of good 3 and 4 mana cards, and I like all of them more than Spawn of Mayhem. So it's not necessarily that, that I don't dislike Spawn of Mayhem, there's just, yeah, I just don't like it over anything else. All right, so they're going to be growth spiraling here. I want Dreadhorde Butcher against the uh, Once Upon a Time. That's better for me. So looks like this is, you know, just Golos <clears throat> here. It's <clears throat> it's kind of weird that, like, they're casting Once Upon a Time, and, and then so then my thought is that, oh, they probably don't have very many creatures, so Priest isn't going to be too good. <laughs> yeah, I think I think Rankle is a lot stronger than Spawn of Mayhem, like with the haste and everything, and, and the ability to sacrifice. And I think Rankle is a lot stronger than Spawn of Mayhem. I like that they're having to shock, go shock, shock. Oh, so they do have creatures. Okay, well.
I could have just played Judith and then attacked for two. If you show remorse, I'll show this. All right, we'll Might we'll be, be playing idea. Judith this turn to attack. I think. If I play Judith, what does my next turn look like? It's not very good. Yeah, I could have waited to see if we drew, drew Mayhem Devil for Fable Passage, but I, I also like, I don't know, I'm, I'm somebody who I like to get lands out of the deck. It's kind of how I've always been there. Don't worry, I got this. Oh wow. We will not fail. That is pretty Behold, good for me. True power. Okay, so if I sacrifice the two foot light fiends. attacking to fairy it's kind of better to sacrifice dread horde butcher with dread horde butcher More easily taking out. Stop drawing lands, duck. I don't know. Let's attack them. Yeah, I should I shouldn't have done the one damage to Nissa. I'm just attacking them. Alright. I shouldn't have done, done that damage to Nyssa. I was thinking I was going to be attacking Teferi and Nyssa, but no, with them at 10, I shouldn't be doing that. So even if they have Krasis here, you know, even if they you know have 2, 4, 6, 8, Krasis, you know, 10 with the untap and just, you know, Krasis for a lot, be able to gain four life with Krasis. We still had lethal with just the... We had, like, it was 10 damage with the activation. You know, three for each Butcher, uh, two from the Judith, two from the Priest. All right, 2-0. Yeah, yeah, you don't you you don't really need Fabled Passage if if you're looking for rares to cut as far as rare wild cards go, you can cut some fab Fabled Passages. That's the easiest four rares to cut. I'm going to be leading with Passage here, turn one, to be able to get a black source. Ooh, Butcher, Dreadhorde Butcher with Embercleave. 
That does sound quite appealing. Thornwood Falls. I was planning on playing Priest here, but Thornwood Falls makes me think it's just, it's Golos. So against Golos, I want Butcher out, getting as much damage in here as possible. It's possible the the fable pat. It's it's definitely possible you need to replace these with like the gain life land, and not just basic lands, um, to help out the mana, if you're replacing fable passage. That's what that's honestly what I would probably do is just play for the gain life land. It could be budget flash. Tis true. Tis true. Yeah, the, the blood crypts are pretty key though. You kinda need the you need the blood crypts. You could go evolving wilds instead of fable passage if you want the trigger. Like yeah, you could you could definitely do that. It's a good good call there with the downside of if you cut fable pass like fable passage is a pretty decent card to craft anyway. Goes in a lot of decks. But if you just don't have, like, if you're short four wild, rare wild cards to make the deck, I would recommend the Fable Passages. Did my opponent disconnect or something after they played the forest? What's going on over here? See, Robber of the Rich gets played in mono red right now. You see, that's like the that's the spot to see, that you see it played. Um, I have a I have a Rakdos aggro list that uh, I it's been a while since I played it, I guess. But whenever I played it, I had Robber of the Rich in it, and I was happy with the card there. Um, But yeah, it's it's a good card. It's not spectacular or anything. It really should not be a mythic for any reason. I'll go with Judith over Mayhem Devil because of the pumping of the power. Yeah, so it looks like it's Simic Flash. <clears throat> it just didn't counter anything on turn two. So probable night pack ambusher here. I think it's worth trading Dreadhorde Butcher for it. And 
If they if they don't block Dreadhor Butcher, they die. Okay. GG's. Ugh. Three and O. Oh. I was thinking this deck was going to do good. So far, so good. So far, so good. I kind of feel like this is a trap hand to keep. We're going to keep it. We're not going to draw land. And then we lose. If we draw two land, this is awesome. You know, like Wrinkle and everything. You know, I can lead off with gutter. I can go turn one gutter bones. Turn two cat fable passage. Let's keep. Because then by then, by turn three, you know, we have a couple of draw steps. If it's a land, we get to play Mayhem Devil. If it's not a land, it should hopefully be something like one or two mana that helps us out. Like this is a it's a good start. Yeah, you could take out gutter bones. Yeah, if you need to shave rares again, gutter bones, that's an option to play. Um, you know, Footlight Fiend, Grim Initiate. A couple of commons you could play instead. Priest can't help r ramp us to wrinkle. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules them? Hmm. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Boo. Hostile to the truth. <laughs> Not priest, elk. Yeah, I kind of called this hand beforehand that this is going to be a trap hand where we're, <clears throat> we're going to draw the land. Welcome it's unfortunate. to the feast. Gotta get Oko out of here. <clears throat> Hope our opponent doesn't use a sweeper this next turn. 
kind of feel like I should not play the Cauldron Familiar from hand. Your expectations are exhausting. Well, that's devastating. Those blind to tyranny are lost. That's devastating. See it. Yeah, that's a that's a nice play right there. It's a nice play. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. I'm known for my excellent timing. Hmm. I'll protect you. All right, well, needed to mulligan. We did not get to... Play any things play any of these things until it's way too late. <clears throat> yeah, maybe this is what I should have done the first time. Oko just has too much loyalty. Let me start just going upstairs. Kind of feels like they had another Teferi time twist for how they're holding that up there. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, can't can't worry about the planeswalkers anymore. Oh darn, I thought they were targeting their grazer. I was a little excited that they weren't going to target Judith. Yes, any any removal spell at all would have would be good right now. You know, don't have one though. But yes, we got to a, a scenario where having a removal spell would be good. Go down to two. That two life they gained with Krasis.
Worst case scenario, of course, for me is a time wipe. I've got time. Time wipe plus eating food with Oko. To go back up to five. Yeah, it's the the big problem is Oko just being able to just make food like you know they get to gain three life a turn. It's, it's brutal. Well, that's pretty good for them too. Putting three creatures into play, that's a pretty good turn too. Wow. Okay, we have a shot. Come on, oven. Come on, witch's oven. Hopefully no growth spiral. I, I don't know how they didn't just make a food to be able to sack to gain three life and just turn a 2-2 two -two into a 3-3. Three -three. That's dumbfounding. All right, good. No growth spiral. No, go no growth spiral for the fifth blocker. Cauldron familiar? Does this card look familiar? We did it. We should not have done that. We finally got some good luck. Yeah, our opponent definitely should have just, like they had two mana, just Plus two Oko. Have a food to eat. That's what should have happened. But we'll take it. We're 4 0. 4 and 0. Oh. Why not Devil plus Sacrifice? I don't I don't have any way to sacrifice. I had no I had no sacrifice outlets. My my priest was an elk, so it had no abilities. This is all sacrifice outlets now. That was just water. <laughs> um Am I supposed to mulligan this? hand could do kind of nothing or could do everything <laughs> hey what's up yud i was watching without the chat so i won't get too distracted from work but <clears throat> you know couldn't oh Couldn't resist the pun. Last last game, the cat was familiar the to the opponent. Twirl and curl, choking out lies. No, because we're we're just playing seven matches here. One and best of one. And all your cares are gone. We're just playing seven matches. Seven games. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Oh, 
really like to draw a cauldron familiar. Surely you must be famished. Hmm. Uh, what do you mean, Salted? What what playlist? Like, there's there's that playlist you have right there. Yeah, the music playlist. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was that was the link came up right there. When you, you just did exclamation point playlist, that's the link right there. I'm in Virginia. Quite the nibble. I'm gonna try waiting a turn, try to have Judith and Mayhem Devil in play when activating priest here this next turn. Let's say let's say I just play like either one of these, it would have been basically the same. Let's say we play one of these. And Oh, Oko's dead. They killed Oko to kill Judith, huh? Um, I do, Starman, yes. Anyway, if, if we would have sacrificed both of those, we would have like been able to do the two damage to kill the goose, and then they have to sacrifice one of these other things. But that's still not a spectacular turn. Trust me. And my hand is really bad. Double oven, double, double priest. Turns out not to work very well. Yeah, that's, that's my plan. Draw a card with castle. He's like a Chandra. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Sack two food to kill flyer. How? I don't have the mana to play devil and sack two food.
<sighs> Oko has been pretty difficult for us to defeat. Especially the second Oko here. Whenever I have basically a whole bunch of nothing. All right, did not go undefeated. I think we learned we learned that hand's definitely a mulligan. So next time, if you have three land, three land, witches oven, witches oven, um, priest of forgotten gods, priest of forgotten gods, mulligan the hand. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't do anything. So don't don't keep that hand. That was, of course, my big mistake, keeping that hand. <clears throat> Alright, this is a lot better. Loyal Pegasus. We'll see how loyal this Pegasus is. Tamik. Ugh, rude. I mean, yeah, I could trade Dreadhorde Butcher for Tamik. I want to do more than that with Butcher. So playing the Mayhem Devil means that next turn we can go Lazotep Reaver. Alright, doesn't doesn't help out as much. My plan was to take out both Pegasi. So I could I could rankle here and sacrifice again. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? But I don't I don't know if I really want to sacrifice either of these for either of those. Um, yeah, we do need to make Selesnia great again, don't we? They just really have been giving white kind of nothing recently. So yeah, sack the Dreadhorde Butcher and the Footlight Fiend so that we can get the four triggers to be able to make them sack the 
Ven the Venerade Luxodon. There we go. And then I could have Rankle go sacrifice. And we'd both sacrifice a creature and get a couple more triggers with the Mayhem Devil. And we five and one. All right, one more match tonight. Looks like we had just perfect time for four best of one leagues and a regular league also. <laughs> Those cats are Hawkeye's dark, dark side. Hawkeye. Come here. You can come see see some cats. Eating a lot of food. Hawkeye loves to eat food. Cauldron Familiar loves to eat food. Yeah, Hawkeye, these cats are just like you. Cauldron Familiar. You are Cauldron Familiar. You like to eat food. Yeah, yeah. maybe we should have a Cauldron Familiar, a Johnny's Pride Mate deck. Yeah, that does work really well together. Ors off cats. Ors off cats. Look at how excited you are about Ors off cats. He just wants to go sit up at his spot. Hey, Sea Wookiees. There's no patience these days. Could have got my Dreadhorde Butcher. Never mind. <laughs> they didn't need to. Necrolepsy with that tier one sub. Thanks, Necro Necrolepsy. I appreciate that. And Zahi as well. Or Zahe. Zahe as well. That gets us to sub number 18. All right, we're two more subs away from our sub goal here. We can get there. So missed a land drop. Gutter bones. Their removal tribal deck now has a creature. So many mountains. Okay, yours was a duplicate. Well, oh well. Counted it. You had the notification, so it counts. Wow. Attacking? Turn on Spawn of Mayhem. Oh, drill bit. Mm, sure. <laughs> yep, that's right. You're twice as important. Well, hopefully with that extra sub counting here, hopefully we can get to the sub goal. Maybe, maybe not though, we'll see. This game is probably gonna be over pretty soon. With my opponent just having two lands. All right, so 6-1. 
This felt like a good, um, felt like a, a lot better best of one deck than, than our other decks. This felt like a, a good, solid best of one deck that I would, you know, not mind at all. You know, if, it were, if you're trying to, you know, if you're just playing a deck to rank up, this looks pretty good. You know, this one felt pretty good here. Um, question is, do you prefer arena over paper? It, like, <clears throat> they have they have their different uh, differences. Playing playing paper is a lot of fun. I like shuffling and everything like that. But building decks is such a beating. Like, trying to find all the cards and buy all the cards and put the decks together, sleeve up all the cards. That's a beating. It's a lot easier on arena. <laughs> I like that a lot more. Um, but, yeah, playing paper is fun, too. Um, anyway, Rakdos Sacrifice. Yeah, this deck was awesome. We didn't... We never played Chandra. There's three Chandras in here? Whoa, that's crazy. We never played this card. We never drew this card a single time. And <laughs> there's three of them in there. We drew Judith a bunch. Midnight Reaper a little bit. But yeah, Chandra just works so well with Priest. Um, maybe, maybe you can cut a Chandra. Maybe you can go down to two Chandra. Maybe play three Judith, two Chandra. Like, it's possible those, those two numbers should be switched. Judith was awesome for us. Maybe this should be a three of and this should be a two of. Um, I guess because I'm playing the Chandra's, I'm playing the extra mountain because the red, red. But a lot of the other deck, you want black sources. So, um, you know, if you if you do cut a Chandra for a Judith, you could probably play a swamp, an extra swamp instel instead. Hey, Pine Peace. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thanks for uh, subbing. I, yeah, I really appreciate that. I think I'd probably do that if I was going to play the deck again to kind of help out the mana, get get another swamp in there, and then switch those around. <clears throat> And we got there. Alter, thank you so much for getting us to our sub goal. All right, so that's our first sub goal towards our next 12-hour stream. As you all know, we're doing the 12-hour stream on Wednesday this week. Thank you so much there, Alter. I love it. Everybody in chat getting the hype boats in. Sub goal. Okay. Um... Yeah, that's that's about it though to to, to save the deck. <clears throat> this deck felt a lot stronger than the other decks that we played today, though. Um, this feels like a, a pretty good deck if you want to to rank up. Um, Fable Passage was, you know, like that's something you know if if you need to. So if we talked about if you need to cut down on rare wild cards, Fable Passage is like the first spot. You can just play the the black red, uh, gain life land instead. It's it's definitely going to be worse, but. It's not as bad as like switching out some of the other cards if you need like a rare wild well card. Okay. Oh, I guess you got a hairball. There. Almost threw up on my phone. Saved it. All right. Um, that's it here though for uh, Racto Sacrifice. So that was interesting ending to our league here but if you're watching the video later on youtube yeah not the yep didn't get the keyboard so all good um uh <clears throat> so yeah if you're watching the video later on youtube please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also uh leave some comments love seeing the comments in the video section if you if you play best of one and you got like a best of one deck that you really like throw it in the comment section um and maybe i'll get to it next best of one day monday but that's it here for Rakdos Sacrifice. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.